as I was doing my carpet cleaning appointment this evening, you know, it was dawn it dawned on me something very, very clear um, that in regard to the gay issue, gay rights issue, uh, talking to, to us Christians, you know, I think that where we're erring uh, it's not so much that we're erring on the love of God. I think we're sharing the love of God. I think the fundamental problem, I'll just speak for my own life, because uh, I've lacked it deeply over the period of years, and it's led me down some very dark roads uh, myself. And that isn't the love of God or for God or for Jesus Christ. It's the lack of fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And, you know, we, we, we talk about the love of God, and I believe in that. And that's really, I'd rather, you know, err on the side of love than the err on the side of the fear of the Lord or judgment. But I don't believe you can err on the side of the fear of the Lord if it's tempered with and motivated with grace, mercy, truth, and the agape love of God. But we can't leave out the fear of the Lord because that uh, has in eternal consequences to it. And so, you know, uh, it, to say you, I love you and I care about you and not warn you that their judgment day is coming, warning people that there is a heaven to gain, there is a, shell to, uh, there is a hell to shun. You know, it, Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Your life on this earth is like a flicker. And one day you're going to leave your body and stand before God and he's going to ask you, why should I let you into my heaven? What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Because I did this or did that? You know, there's a secret to why he will enter you into, uh, let you enter into heaven. And it's not because of what you did or did not do. It's one thing, one major thing. And that is, what did you do with the gospel of Jesus Christ, my son? Did you confess him as your Lord? Did you want to follow him and be his disciple? Did you believe he was raised from the dead? That's the key issue, folks. And so well, let's not remember in sharing the love of God that we also share in the fear of God. And I believe we're in a time right now of, of great lukewarmness in the modern era. While people are getting murdered, Christians are getting murdered for their faith, we're watching, you know, uh, our favorite TV program. And I don't have a problem with TV programs, uh, some of them, but you know, the reality is, is that we need to get with God's program and there's, there's coming a great division here uh, between light and darkness, the children of God and the children of the devil. And so I'm not a legalist, I'm not a bigot, I love God, I love people, but let's just make sure that we walk in the love of God and the fear of God. All right? Amen.